Testament. We have forgotten about God, the Father, okay? The Passover is so that we will always remember that God is still there and He's coming along and it's only because of Him that everything is to be, right? When these dates come on term, everyone forgets about the reasons that it's the harvest and all this stuff. They start talking about the rapture. The great majority start talking about the rapture and then that Jesus is coming. It's almost like saying, um, say Beyonce, you know, Beyonce, uh, she had her career and she's going, everyone knows about Beyonce, but then her sister, what's her name? Like, um, uh, Sonia or whatever, uh, Solange, she goes, she comes on the stage one day and they're like dancing and everyone likes Solange, Solange, and then she, they go on tour and everyone after that is just like, hey, Solange is coming, Solange is coming, and then it's Beyonce's birthday and they're like, Solange is coming, Solange is coming. How would Beyonce feel? And put yourself in that shoes, how would you feel? The reason that we have the Old Testament is that we don't forget God because God is everything and everything he creates is good and he starts a work, he's faithful to complete it and he's faithful to his promises, his oaths, his trusts, his wills. He's faithful. But we have misunderstood him because he, in the Old Testament, is very, is very uh, a rough, right? He's just like, kill this, kill this, kill this. And it's good, you know, and then he'll be like, oh, I promise you this. And then you do something. He's like, I take away the promise. So we, it's, he, he is someone to fear, but it's not someone that you, you can forget. And the thing is, you need, you already have Jesus. Okay. Now about the rapture, this enrapturement, this approval of your faiths, Jesus has done his part. The rest is up to you. You need you're the one who needs to make yourself raptured. There's never a, a time or a place. You make yourself ripe for your season and you will become approved and it will happen. You will know when you've been raptured because you literally go to a place like I, I know what I really look like and it was so real. And when everything went down and when, how it went down for me, uh, at the end, I felt like I was there for eternity. And I was on top and just praising, just and I had these wings, and I was praising. And you know how it says, "Love the you know love the Lord your God with all your um well mind, soul, and heart, whatever." But it says, "Oh, worship the Lord your God with all your strength." Okay. I was a different being, very powerful, and I was trying to I was worshiping God with all my strength, and we were singing this song. Like all of the eternities of all the everybody in all these angels all below me, and I was on this tower thing with I didn't wasn't even looking human, but I was beautiful and and so I was like, Ugh, and I was going to I was singing, I was literally out loud singing as loud and booming as I could, and I swear I know that the entire neighborhood and maybe probably even half of the other city could hear me in my bathroom this it happened in my bathroom when I was doing this and I wanted to break myself to be the most uh, worshipful to God out of everybody in heaven and everyone feels like that and I was like oh and I could feel like my fingers just like cracking and I literally popped my shoulder popped it but uh, tweaked my shoulder out because I was like Ugh! and I was stretching so hard so that my testimony, I will tell you that another day, but this is about the rapture. And then I came back, and the whole thing, how it happened to, sorry, I gotta put this part in, is like two days prior to that, two or three days prior to that, it was um, coming up on December, like almost towards the end of the year. And uh, I was outside smoking a cigarette with a friend, it was talking story at nighttime, you know, just like, you know, passing the time, but the, it was really foggy. And I'm, I'm always outside looking at, I'm always outside looking at the stars, looking at the clouds. Like I can't even walk at night, my dog. I walk her every single day and night. I can, I no longer can just walk regular. I'm always like straight up walking. Like my, it used to hurt my neck. It will hurt all your necks if you try to even stay like this. I can stay like this for like five hours. Like that's how, how often I've been doing that. And so I'm always noticing things and it was misty, and so we're talking, I'm like, do you understand that this this is not fog that we're talking in? 
this is clouds. I was like, these are clouds. Literally, the sky just came down. And I was like, or maybe we're being raptured. Like, I just said it jokingly, right? And I don't have friends from the church. I don't even go to church. And so he was like, oh, well, uh, no. And then he started laughing. And he's like, oh, no, we wouldn't be raptured because the dead would, and Christ would rise first. And he would, he would be the last person I would expect for uh, those words to come out. And I was like, so impressed, right? I'm like, oh, my gosh, marry me. So... That happened, and then like three days later, I got raptured. So that was my story, because I was like, oh, maybe we're getting raptured, you know, all this stuff. So everything, I don't know how it all came to me, but it was awesome. Um, so it's about your faith, and the reason I say that is because you, with your faith, with your trust, you have asked God, or Jesus Christ, into your heart. And of course he said yes, because he's Jesus, like, <laughs> he loves the sinners, he's come here for us. And so you're like, Lord Jesus, I repent, and I ask you in my heart, and he says, okay, I'm gonna come. And so he goes in, but that's only half heart, because you make a promise, you make a contract, you make any type of, th oh, it's not, okay, here's the contract, I'll do all the work, you do nothing, and you're, you get all the rewards. No, it's you do this, you do your part, and I'll do my part, yeah? You need to fulfill your faith is up to you. You need to do your part, and that is about listening or <laughs> trusting the Word of God, right? Being faithful to that. And I have complete faith in all of y'all because if he didn't, if you were not to be saved after you came this far, then you would not be here right now. Remember, God... It's faithful to complete what he has started. And you need to know, but you need to know that God is God and he's faithful, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations to those who love him and keep his commands. Okay? So, keeping his commands, there's a new testimony. There's a new testament, right? And that new testament is the testament of Jesus Christ. And the testament of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy, okay? So look at it in terms like that. Everything that he, Jesus Christ has said and was taught here, the people then, even some of the disciples, but they slowly got it, under, didn't understand it quite literally because he was talking to us right now, the last generation of the, the, the covenant of a thousand generations under the covenant of love. We are of the last generations, which is awesome, right? We are going to reap the fruits that... Our um, forefathers, who knew Jesus, the start of the first fruit, um, was talking about and then proclaimed about how to love and make his commands. So the Ten Commandments right now in this day and age of the civilized man, that is n not what he's talking about. That right there is that common sense to culture. That right there is just the basics of being a good person. Even if you didn't read the Bible, you don't steal, you don't kill, you don't cheat, you don't do nothing like that. You, do, you be decent. Don't be a beast. Don't be an animal kind of thing, right? Be mature. The people back then, they weren't mature like us. And that makes sense too because I grew up in a family that um, say like they always yelled, they always yelled, they always yelled. And then, you know, you go to school, you have, you know, you make friends for second and third grade. Then you go to their friend's house and maybe their family doesn't yell. But then you notice that and you're like, oh, what's wrong? You thought everybody did it like this. Do you see how it, that is? A, that's a cognitive dissonance right there. And so what happens is back then they were they were not aware that that was wrong. Right. Um, and even before the, the days of Noah, they didn't know. They knew even worse anyway. So, uh, come to find out or whatever, and don't, don't be like, oh, that, the timeline, whatever. I'm just making my, you, if you understand my point, let's move on. So, what happened was, 